Hello, Jeepterman. It's Green Dot 319. Well, as you can see, apparently, welcome to pretty much the Garden of Eden. And I've brought out one of uh, God's greatest creations of all, the World War II Jeep. Now, you've seen this thing. Look at these butterflies. What is going on? Look at them fighting. Crazy, eh? Butterflies are nuts. Um, yeah. <laughs> you've seen this thing on the road. We know this thing can go on the road. This is an all-terrain vehicle, though and I haven't taken it off-road yet. Um, it's done about 100 miles, so it's sort of getting getting worn in. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take it up a steep hill. And I haven't been up here. I've been a little bit of the way up, but I haven't been all the way up. Um, it gets pretty steep, and I'm not sure what we're gonna find, but you guys are gonna find out today when we take this up there. Now, the only problem we've got is the e-brake, or the handbrake on this thing, is crap. We haven't really got a handbrake, and if you've been off-road, or on steep hills, you know you really need a handbrake on a vehicle like this. Um, so it's sort of a one-shot thing. We've got to go for it, see what <laughs> see what happens, and uh, if we need to, I suppose we can just come back down in reverse. But um, it's a steep hill. Showing you how steep it is is difficult, um, you know, on camera. But hopefully you can sort of get an idea. But we'll see how we get on them. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be slightly nervous here, but um, hey, let's see what happens. What can go wrong? taking a vintage antique vehicle up an unknown steep path in Somerset. Nothing can go wrong, right? Let's start it up. Okay, love, right, she's started. So let's get her into front axle drive and low range. So let's go into neutral in the range, and then let's go to, all right, this is a bit tricky getting these to come in these gears. There we go. So that is now in front wheel. We're in neutral. So let's, there we go. It goes quite nicely, this new box. Sometimes, you know, you've got these big straight cut gears and they don't go in particularly well. But let's see how we get on here. So first, first gear, e-brake. Yeah, holding. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it pulling. Oh yes. Listen to that noise. All right, we've got to, we've got to pull in our, uh, mirror here this isn't going to work it's going to get knocked off right e-brake again just creeping back a touch here we go yeah i can i can hear that that low range those big straight cut gears oh yeah crawling beautiful okay this is pretty steep here now So the, the steering wheel isn't moving around too much. I am, however. Oh, we're getting... Oh, yeah. This is great. The power. Go, baby. Okay, we're getting steep. Oh, I can feel the, she's bouncing. The rear's bouncing around a lot. But it's very controllable. So we've got 50 PSI pressure. 160F. You wouldn't have thought that the um, those road springs would uh, make it quite a smooth ride, but it is. This is hands off at the moment, and I can feel the back jumping around. So, oh yeah, good girl. That's a girl. Come on. Well done. Yes. Here's big bump. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. I mean, this must be child's play for a Jeep, really. She's working, though. Yeah, the steering is very nice like this. You can see how what it's designed to do. It's just following it easily. Look, this is all hands off, guys. It's an automatic Jeep. Oh, yeah. oh, she's loving it. Oil's getting hotter. We've got 40 PSI now, so she's warming up pretty, quite a lot. Temperature gauge still 160, 170 F now, so we're getting warmer. And we've got some people at the top. Oh, there we go. I think we made it. Easy peasy. Right then, well we made it up no problems at all actually. I don't know what I was worrying about. It's child play for a Jeep. Just shows what it's like though, um, 
just a little bit off-road, just going up the uh, steep hill there. The important thing was to test out the transfer case properly and make sure those low range and that four-wheel drive's working. You certainly feel it. And the amazing thing about it as well is the suspension is actually pretty damn good. You know, we've got original springs on here. They're quite soft. They haven't been re-arched or anything like that. But um, it feels like you'd have thought that it's them just being leaf springs. You'd have thought that it's sort of the whole rear just moves as one, but it feels quite articulated actually, sort of like, you know, McPherson struts or anything. So it's better than I uh, expected. We do have a casualty. However, I've noticed one of my spring clips as a uh, torque reaction spring was obviously flexing a bit because the spring clip has knocked itself back there. So it's obviously been able to um, come off. So we're gonna have to whack that back up there. So this is what I'm like after walking up the same gradient from top to bottom as we've just done in that 70, what, 77 year old Jeep. So um, for it to not break over 180F when you stop it, didn't go over 160, 170 when actually driving. It's pretty impressive. Now, I'm just about to show you something which I reckon is pretty much the best view in the whole of the UK. It's a sort of a secret view and uh, I don't know, it's madness. So um, yeah, we'll show you that in just two seconds, but what do we reckon to the Jeep then? In four wheel drive, it's obviously extremely capable. That's that little uh, hill and off road is nothing for it, isn't it really? You know, that's not even trying it. So um, really impressive though, hey? Um, our vehicle which can go 60 miles an hour on the flat on road can instantly swap to go in, you know, up really steep hills um, without really breaking a sweat, you know, unlike me. So that's pretty blooming impressive, you know. <laughs> what else can you say about that really? Um, to driving it, the steering is great off-road like that because with that play in it, it sort of bounces around a bit in your hands, but it's not tugging your hands either way. It, um, it continues going straight and true. You saw I took my hands off there. The camera doesn't really show the steepness or the little gradients because it, it just the way that the film works. Um, but um, yeah, it's pretty steep and pretty bumpy. So for it to maintain, you know, easy going straight and true up the hill is, 
is really good and it was always pulling I was using no throttle there it was just pulling itself up uh, so that's pretty blooming impressive isn't it and the suspension is really good as well so you might not expect it to be that good it being leaf springs you know I haven't got much experience with leaf springs used to McPherson struts and things like that modern uh, independent um, suspension but actually it works really well the whole lot bums moving around shifting around you can feel each wheel going up and down so it works great and it wasn't creaking or groaning or cracking much was it I mean sounds like it's worn in already so hopefully that hasn't knackered it obviously it's a toy it's not a um, this is not a serious rock crawler or anything like that this is a pampered expensive restoration so I'm not going to knacker it um, I think that was good for it to break it in to have a go at that it didn't get too hot or anything like that it wasn't laboring difficult to start now that um, six volt starter is still having problems it, it's it's fine but when it gets nice and hot and heat soaked it loses its power so I don't know what to do um, let's have a look at this view then oh explosions they're blowing stuff up see the Germans are about I told you Can you believe places in the world exist like this? This is mad. You can keep LA or London or anything like that. I'm the only person here. Look at that view, unbelievable. Just like the Jeep, it hasn't been touched in 77 years odd. Crazy, you can't even see. I can't see anything modern in that. Looking at Glastonbury Tour there in the middle. Nuts, great place to take a Jeep, hey? That's what it's built for, perfect.